How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary photos found on Reddit. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Trail cameras are a popular CCTV technology frequently used by hunters, hoping to spot potential targets in forests near their homes. When a friend of Reddit user C. Grazia checked his trail cam, something much more disturbing than a rogue deer appeared. The images are black and white, but the first shot shows the forest clearly. The trees in the area are in sharp focus. However, there's something else in the shot that is more difficult to discern. What appears to be the figure of a person walking through the woods. Whatever it is, is blurry as if caught in motion. Its back appears to be to the camera, so no facial features can be distinguished. All that we can tell is that it appears to be a man walking with his hands in his pockets. At first, users assumed that the camera had simply caught the image of an ordinary person walking through the woods. However, C. Grazia pointed out that the camera takes pictures in bursts, capturing numerous images over the course of a few seconds. This figure only appears in one of the photos. In addition, another photo was captured in the same burst that is much more terrifying. A close-up shot of what seems to be the head and shoulders of a brightly glowing figure staring directly into the camera. Combined, these two terrifying photos paint a much more disturbing picture. Could there be some sort of ghostly entity walking the trails near this camera? Redditors are hoping that additional photos will shed some light on the issue, but for now, the figure remains a mystery. Hey peeps, just a quick interlude to let you know today's episode is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a AAA quality game that fits right into your pocket. It's a turn-based strategy game that you can dive into and play at any time. There's hundreds of champions to collect and level up. I've been playing Raid for a while now. Here's just a little taste of some of the awesome champions you can collect. Torment the Cold. He's a pretty rare find but one of the best champions in the game. He smashes real hard in the arena. Harvest Jack. This dude has such awesome Halloween vibes. He's a legendary champion and has one of the highest health pools in the game. So what's new for Raid? Their biggest update ever has just dropped, the Doom Tower. 120 floors of mayhem, secret challenge rooms and 12 badass bosses to take on. To help players take on the tower, the Raid team are giving away a super special champion, Bullwick. He'll come in handy against those bosses. So if you want to get a huge head start in Raid, then download the game using my special link. It's absolutely free. If you do, you'll get an XP boost, some energy refills, 50 gems, and even an ancient shard. You'll also get that free Void Champion we were talking about earlier. Just look how awesome this character looks. You'll get all your free goodies in the inbox located here. Reddit user JustSin1 posted this eerie picture in mid-2020. They said their mum's goddaughter had been feeling weird in their apartment lately. According to the goddaughter, she had suspected that she's not really ever home alone since she moved into her new place. She often feels a strange presence in the apartment, especially when she's home alone. Sometimes she sees figures in the corner of her eye, but is never able to get a good look. An innocent selfie ended up giving her the clearest indication of what may be haunting her. In the background of her photo, peeking around a doorway, appears a shadow, a humanoid shape, but it's entirely black. It appears to have long hair or be wearing some sort of veil over its head. The Redditors who saw the photo were shocked by the image. They believe that the picture clearly confirms the existence of shadow people. According to one commenter, the girl in the photo should be careful. Shadow people tend to drain positive emotions from those they visit unless they're properly banished. Not much is known about shadow people. 
It's said that they lurk in dark corners, terrifying those unlucky enough to encounter them. If a shadow person has latched itself onto this young woman, she should indeed be wary. Some terrifying photos come with a tragic backstory, such as this image shared by Redditor MJMJ101. What was meant to be a loving tribute to a beloved pet turned sinister when something odd was spotted in the background. The picture shows a dog curled up in a comfy dog bed. Unfortunately, the pup's time was limited. Shortly after the photo was taken, the dog passed away from parvovirus. This fact makes the oddity spotted in the photo even more terrifying. Just behind the pup, we see a set of strange feet that appear to be walking through the room. The person who took the photo says they were alone with the dog when the photo was taken, but the image suggests otherwise. Viewers have noted that the legs don't seem to belong to an ordinary person. The feet are fairly large, but the legs are extremely thin. However, the position of the feet suggests that they don't belong to a small, frail person. They're extremely far apart, indicating that the legs belong to an exceptionally tall person. The skin is also very pale, adding to the sickly look of the spindly legs. No one is sure who or what these strange feet belong to. Some viewers have suggested that the ghostly figure was hanging around preparing to escort the pup to the afterlife. Could these legs belong to some sort of canine grim reaper? The last place where you want to spot terrifying photos is on your baby monitor. Unfortunately for Redditor, slaggedly, this is exactly what happened when they reviewed footage from when their infant was asleep in their crib. The image is disturbing. It shows crystal clear a figure leaning over the crib, looking closely at the sleeping child. Because of the position of the camera, only the figure's legs and lower torso can be seen. Both parents were said to be in the yard at the time the photo was taken on the motion sensing camera, and no one else lives in the house. Viewers have suggested three possibilities, and all options are equally terrifying. The figure could be some sort of ghost peering in at the child, or an intruder has snuck in, or worse still, a mysterious person could be living secretly in the house. Whether the figure is a ghost or a human, one thing's clear. These parents had better keep a very close eye on their child when they're asleep in this nursery. When Redditor Connor Parry 2003 was a kid, Halloween was an exciting holiday. However, on one particular year, things got a little scarier than they had hoped for. The youngster posed for a picture in their costume before heading out to trick or treat. When the pictures were developed, it became clear that the child's costume wasn't the scariest thing in the image. Just over the child's shoulder, there appears to be a sinister face peering out of the shadows. The face appears to be a brownish green colour with a mass of dark hair. Some viewers of the photo are sceptical, believing that this could be a case of pareidolia, the human tendency to spot faces where none exist, because the brain is naturally wired to search for recognisable patterns. However, others are certain that a ghostly entity was lurking in the shadows on that Halloween. Is this simply part of the couch behind the boy, or is there something ghostly going on? Take a close look at the photo and judge for yourself. Redditor Native Meraki installed outdoor cameras for security, never expecting to end up with terrifying photos. However, it seems that a spirit may have had other plans. The image was taken by a camera in the driveway late one night. A few yards away from the camera, a woman appears to be walking through the tall grass. She's translucent white from head to toe. She appears to be wearing a long dress and has her arms wrapped around her torso. The Redditor wanted to believe that she had caught herself on the camera. However, she never goes out into the driveway at night without a flashlight and doesn't own a dress like the one in the picture. According to this Redditor, the former owner of the home passed away and had her ashes spread on the property. 
The area was also once home to Native American tribes, some of whom are likely buried nearby. Could this figure be the ghost of a former owner, or that of a Native American woman who once called the area home? For now, the identity of the figure remains a complete mystery. Before we take a look at an eerie family photo, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Also, remember to wet a phone book and really work that thumbs up button over. When Redditor Staggernaut lost their father as a child, they were devastated to know that they would never see him again. However, a photo taken at a family event seems to suggest that he might be closer than anyone thought. In the photo, we see the Redditor posing in front of a delicious feast with their mother and two siblings. The family is smiling, but it's clear from their expressions that they were missing one crucial member of the family that day. On the left-hand side of the happy family photo, something seems amiss. A streak of bright light appears in the photo right next to the Redditor's mother. While some may believe that the mark is just a flaw in the film, others are skeptical. The Redditor is convinced that the photo proves their father was with them the day the photo was taken. This event happened in the same year their father passed away, so it isn't unreasonable to believe that his spirit could still be lingering around. Is this a photo of a lost family member, or merely some damaged film? Take a closer look at the photo and decide for yourself. Then let us know what you think in the comments section below. Now if you want to see some more scary photos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise we have a paranormal playlist right there you can binge on. Now remember to follow us on all our socials. We're on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Peace.